So let us start with conditional statements. So let us understand what is conditional statement. So decision making is required whenever we want to execute a code if a certain condition is satisfied. Suppose we have any code and I want that code to be executed only if a particular condition is satisfied. Then we use conditional statements. The if else conditional statement is, is there in almost every language C, Java, C, etc. In almost every language we have this conditional statements. Python is no exception. In Python also we have if and instead of else if it is elif in Python. The small difference instead of else if it is elif. So whenever we want we have just say a set of code. And out of this particular I want only like you know, this particular uh, line of statement to be executed. If a particular condition is met, then I'll say, I'll write this, I'll say if, and then this part question, I'll say test some expression. What are the text condition is here? And then other lines of code. So this is what if else statement in Python is. So this is the syntax. If in Python, it is if space, and then what the test expression is a greater than five, b less than five, etc. And then all the set of statements, and then in other languages, if you remember, it will be like, you know, if something like condition, then brackets, everything, and then close up brackets. But here, there won't be these brackets. In Python, there won't be these brackets. The condition of if will be after if condition, the end of condition is signified by colon. Colon marks the end of condition, and then all the lines, all the lines are part of if using indentation. There is something called as indentation in Python. The body of this particular function, like you know, all these statements start with indentation. And the first unindented line marks the end of if statement. The first line, which is in the same line, in the same line as if, marks end of if. So this is what if is. So let us look at if in Python. So just say my a is 10. My a is 10. Okay, I'll write if. If and I want to check whether a is greater than zero or not. I want to check whether it a is positive integer or not. So what I do is I say a and then optionally these brackets are optional. I can directly say either a greater than zero or even without brackets I can say a greater than zero. And where does my condition ends? It ends with a colon. It's with a colon. And if I print enter, you can you, here you can see that there will be by default in Jupyter there will be four lines of spaces or one tab space and what are the statements that i write here like uh, print of a and then print a let me use a placeholder is a positive integer and then dot format of a okay and then let me say something like inside if inside if and then here where does my if end using indentation wherever my first line of statement starts as the same line as the same indentation indentation as if that ends the that marks the end of if statement so if i say something like end if end if then this marks the end of my if statement so these brackets like a greater than etc are optional these brackets are optional in python okay let me run it and if okay let me run it so it says my a is 10 and then a is a positive integer inside if and end if so suppose suppose if my a is minus 10 so see here look at the output so earlier when my a is 10 it executed everything we got a lot of answers like here we got a lot whenever my a is negative number my a is negative number here check that we did not get anything the reason is first it will check this condition whether a is greater than equals to zero or not whether a is greater than zero or not here when my a is minus two this condition is false this condition is false so that is reason none of the if block got executed it directly executed the end if part so which is outside of if part outside of if part so this is what if conditions first if space and then syntax or test condition let me run it this way as well so there is no difference the brackets is optional okay and then 
all my if condition all my if statements and lastly outside of if so this is if so let's okay if my text expression and then statements and then here the program evaluates the text expression and will execute statements only if the expression is true if the text expression is false the statements are not executed okay in python the body of if statement is indicated by the indentation the body starts with an indentation and the first unindented line marks the end python interprets non zero value as true none and zero are interpreted as false so anything like 1 5 true etc are true for python only zero and none are false if i say if 10 if 10 print inside if we can see that it is true any value any value apart from zero and none is interpreted as true in python any value apart from zero and two is zero uh, and none is true for python so that is if okay now let us look at if else if else so first if test expression body of if else body of else so if else is i have checked one condition i check one condition test expression if the condition is true my body of if, if will be executed what if the text expression is false let me just say if of zero we are not printing anything right if i want to print anything even if the text expression is false we go for else statement so that is what if and else are if you look at here text doesn't have else doesn't have any text expression only if condition has text expression if, if this expression is true then body of if is executed if the expression is false then body of else is executed so the if else statement evaluates text expression and will execute the body of if only when the text expression is true if the condition is false the body of else is executed indentation is used to separate the blocks okay let us look at example i want to give my a what are the value i give if my a is greater than 0 print uh, positive number positive number okay else print negative number so now if i give a as 10 see it prints positive number if i change it to minus 10 now it, it gives negative number without else if i run it it doesn't give any output so if i want to ex, uh, like you know print something or execute some set of statements when or if condition is false if condition is not true then i'll use else statement else is optional and the other thing is else doesn't have any text expression if if is false else is executed by default so this is if else what if i want to change if i want to text multiple expressions if i want to text uh, text multiple expressions not just one expression and else but what if i want to text multiple expressions then in other languages it is else if or if else in some uh, language it is if else in some language it is else if in python it is elif in python it is elif so let us look at elif example as well so in this example we said if a is greater than 0 positive number if a is less than 0 negative number what is if a is 0 so for that we'll have something called as elif 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 and then condition a equals equals to 0 if this condition is true then print 0 if a is minus 10 it is negative number it is a is plus 10 it is positive number and if it is zero it gives zero so that is elif so we can have any number of elif conditions we can have any number of elif conditions so for example if uh, i'll say a is greater than 10 i'll say greater than 10 okay and elif i will have one more elif so remember uh, this indentation just mind the indentation so whenever uh, i write elif outside of, like you know, it should be it must be in the same line as my if you have to be a little wary of this particular condition okay and if a is less than 10 and a is greater than 0 a is less than 10 and a is greater than 0 then i'll say between 0 and 10 okay if it is 0 then 0 otherwise print negative number 
So if I want to test it, if I say a is 5, it says between 0 and 10. If my a is 50, it says greater than 10. If my a is minus 50, it will be negative number and if my a is 0, it will be 0. So this is else if elif and I can have any number of elif statements. I can have any number of elif statements. And the other thing is I can have if elif and I need not have else. Else is option here as well. I need not have else. So this is absolutely fine. If I give something like minus 5, we check the conditions. Is my a greater than 10? No. Then it goes to elif. If my e is this particular condition is true or not, a is less than 10 and a greater than 0. Is this condition true? No. Then it checks a equals equals to 0. Is a is my a 0? It is again no. So then it doesn't do anything. It just skips it. Else part is optional. So that is if else and elif. And then we can also have multiple nested ifs multiple nested ifs so that means we can have an if inside if as well we can have an if inside if. so let us look at one more example so if i'll say equals to just say 10 or something which we'll enter later if my a is greater than 10 print greater than 10 and if i say my a is greater than 5 then i'll say print greater than oh sorry it should be 15 let's say 15 okay print greater than 15 because if it is greater than if it is greater than 10 it is anyways greater than 5 so that's the reason i change it and then i can have else elif etc then i'll say print between 10 and 15 what i'm doing is simple I'm just checking if my value is greater than 10 or not. Less than 10. Okay. So what I'm doing here is I'm checking whether my value is greater than 10. If it is greater than 10, I'm printing it. And then I'm also checking if my value is greater than 15. If it is greater than 15, I'm printing greater than 15 as well. If not, I'll say it is between 10 and 15. And then lastly, less than 10. So suppose if I say something like 20, this particular condition greater than 10 is true it prints greater than 10 and then again it will check this particular condition inside a is greater than 15 it checks for this condition greater than 15 if i say something like a is my 12 it says greater than 10 but between 10 and 15 between 10 and 15 and then lastly if i say something like 6 or something it just prints less than 10 that's it so this is simple else if else uh, else Sorry, if, elif, and else. And this is nested conditional statements. And if and else inside one more condition. And this can be inside my else as well. This can be inside my elif as well. So this can these conditions can be anywhere, inside anything.